Welcome back, everybody. It is time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. And today's theme is China. Hi, Dr. Lori. China. So on my table, today's theme is hats. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? This is perfect because right. you can wear one of those fancy hats when you're going to get afternoon tea with some of the fine china. See, we're just going to connect could everything put it together. together. For us, Heather, thank you. <laughs> She's tied it all together, as Heather does. She's the best. She is the best. So we have a beautiful plate that was sent in by Betty. Isn't this nice? So two Victorian ladies out in their garden, sitting there in their bustled, you know, skirts. It's really a, a nice plate. This plate dates to the 1960s, looking back to the 1890s. So it's not a Victorian plate, but it does have a Victorian image on it. It's called a cabinet plate. It's not intended for you to eat off of. It's intended for you to put in the cabinet or the china closet. And notice the red banding around the perimeter. There would be a red one, a blue one, a yellow one, a green one, and you'd have 12 of these in all different colors in your cabinet in the 1960s. And these were mass produced. These are not like hand painted or originally numbered or something like that. That's right. They are mass produced in very large numbers. Your mother had them. My mother had them. Grandma had them. The neighbor had them. Everybody had them. But they were something to have. It was a big deal if you had them. Okay. All 12. You know and what those ladies were missing? Hats. Hats. They didn't have hats. They could use some of your hats, <laughs> Dr. Lori. Very good. Uh, good right. I said $65. I didn't go that high. I said $35. They're worth $30 each. Yeah. Yeah. Once yeah. you said All mass right. produce and everybody's mom had them, you know. Yep. Exactly. Okay. They're out there. All right. So next They're up, we want to show you what is next up. It's a sugar bowl sent in by Louise. And for Louise's sake, I hope this is worth a lot. And it is kind of interesting. Oh, it's naked babies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're yes, right, Heather. Yes, naked babies. <laughs> Technically, and here's what you get, many of the things you get with a PhD from Penn State in art history is you get to know the difference between a cherub, a pootie, and an angel. Okay. So these and are cherubs. Little tiny naked babies are cherubs <laughs> from the classical <laughs> antique. A pootie is a head with wings. I've never even heard then, of that one before. A pootie? I, I know, I know. No, isn't it's that a pootie? The... Little head poutine with wings. is seen them. French fries and cheese curds, isn't yeah, it? That's yeah, that's one. Not that's... a poutine, a pootie. Pootie, okay, all right. <laughs> well, tell anyway, us about tell us about this. <laughs> these are not little babies. These are cherubs, and usually they are in threes. Cherubs travel in threes in the classical antique. This is a revival piece. It's called an open sugar bowl because it's not intended to have a lid. Why? Because it's used for sugar cubes. Oh. Notice it has two handles, and it's ceramic. It's made of bone china, and then it is detailed with hand painting. This piece dates to about the 1960s. Hmm. Did everybody's mom yeah. have it? Did everybody's mom? Did everybody's have mom it? have it? No, not everybody's <laughs> mom had the sheriffs. And was there was there anything specific about who made this that would make it that like the manufacturer that would really set it apart? New Jersey firm, mass produced, many of them, many uh, of them, not everybody would have them, Jersey. but many of the same style would be, would be mass produced. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, not high quality pause? porcelain, only detailed painting, not fully hand painted. I just want oh to pause for a second. My drift, imagine. David, you're getting my drift. Yeah, I'm getting your drift. Having three babies. 45. <laughs> I said 66 only because I was going to say 60 and then you made me think it was worth more. So I turned the zero into a six. <laughs> I was trying to make you think it was worth less. It's worth 30 bucks. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All right. We're tied up going into the last round. Tied up. And let's do this oh, trinket tied up. Okay. box uh, sent in by Teresa. Okay. Teresa has this piece, which is actually a, 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 a lidded piece. So basically it's a trinket box. It has a serpentine edge. It has a um, uh, a gold band around it. The roses are transfer wear, not hand painted. It's got the handle that is also gilded. This one from the 1960s also, do you see a theme? Yes. <laughs> yes, we, we are detecting a theme. Yeah. Yes. And this one is actually bone china. Uh, you can see it has a very, very 
um, a very, very shiny glaze. So a lot of glaze on top of this ceramic after it came out of the kiln. Did everybody's mom have it? A lot of people had these. They would oftentimes like <laughs> match up with coasters and little ashtrays, and they would all oh. match when your friends came over to play bridge. Oh. There's well, nothing like a mm -hmm. that says classy, like <laughs> matching ashtray set. <laughs> I love well, it. Was it was probably a thing. It was yeah. the yeah. era. It was the era. It was right. the era. What? The Talk era to us was about. a lot of stuff, and most of it was ceramic, and you had to have this match that, and make sure the ladies had see your house at its best, and... Oh my goodness! The I wouldn't have anybody over ever if the I had to do this. The pressure we put on ourselves—it's insane. Pressure. Is bone china something that sets it apart, or is that just kind of yes. common? It's oh. feldspar, kaolin, and bone ash. If it isn't bone china, it doesn't have bone ash. Ooh, actual bone? Actual bone? Actual no, we got to guess. We got to guess. Actual no bone. more questions, really? Dr. Lori. Oh my gosh, I feel like no that should be a whole segment. That like, should be like on. actual bone. All right. I said a hundred bucks. I said $70. Now, now try again. Come on. <laughs> well, wait, up or down? Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. $32. Ah! $30. Thank you, $30. Yes! No! Oh, yeah. David with the win. Oh, just by $2, too. I don't think it's ever been that close. That's All right. Like, cool. I don't think so. The Dr. drama Lori. here I love on you PTL. Guys. You make it fun. Oh, you make, you it, make it fun, it Dr. Fun. Lori. Thank you for talking to us. We'll see you again next week. Okay, thanks for everybody's photos. Keep Thank playing. you. And thanks for you sending in your pictures. You can send yours to Dr. Lori. Just email us at ptl at kdka.com. Maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori.